Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the Gyrosphere Valley Free Room for LEGO Jurassic World. We got a couple of requirements, same old stuff though. Just complete the story and the free play. That should give you all the characters and dinos needed to complete the area. We do find a character rolling around. And we also get a couple of gold bricks in a red. And look at that, there's a double photograph area in this area. All right, so we just got done with the Mosasaurus Arena. If you've been following along, that is. So we're gonna go ahead and double back a little bit on the boardwalk here. Out on the boardwalk, yeah, yeah. And we're going to make our way all the way down. You can see the big gyrosphere sign on the left-hand side indicating that we are headed in the right direction. And uh, you can always check your map at any point as well. Uh, once we get all the way up to this little platform up here, there is a nice little kiosk. And we're going to go ahead and uh, fire that up right quick because we want to see what's going on. And uh, make sure that those totals match the totals we showed you in the beginning. All right, two photos, one red brick, couple of golds. Oh, and a sick dino, too. We can dig that, huh? All right, before you advance into the gyrosphere area, you want to make sure that you take advantage of this Kodak moment. Choose your favorite photographer and hop on to the tripod icon and booyakashow. Photo will be added to your list, and you'll also get yourself a gold brick. And all right, so we got to smash a few things just because we got to show our dominance on the pad here. But uh, once you're ready, go ahead and head inside to the valley. And we're going to go ahead and spawn ourselves a little gyrosphere. If you have not purchased that yet from your character wheel, it'll cost you about 50,000 studs or so. But uh, hey, it's a pretty handy thing. It can uh, get you through a lot of races. It can get you from point A to point B. It can jump. It can take uh, quite a beating from the dinos. And uh, yeah, it also has the ability to be catapulted. So. It's a very handy tool. In fact, we'll see the catapultage here in a minute. So yeah, as you can see, we started a race. I got a little behind on my commentary there, but uh, it's pretty obvious there was a race. We're in a gyrosphere. We hit the button, and we we're off to the races. And although we're making a nice little circle all the way around the outside of this area and all the way back, well, I see a checkered flag in our near future. Maybe, maybe. Wait for it. Booyakashow. All right. So, now we're going to go back in here. Remember we talked about a little catapult? Well, you can find it right to the right of the dock here, and whee! -hee! That was pretty fun. Jumps you right up and grabs that gold brick. Now, you might have noticed there is another tripod out in the middle here, and uh, it's right by the dock, too. And there's a bunch of copies on it. So we're going to switch to old Eric Kirby and throw some T-Rex P right out there, and uh, that chases those little copies off. Now we can switch back to our favorite photography. That's right, Mr. Nick Van Owen. There's actually a few other photographs, photographers, that is. I'm sure you guys know that. And uh, we just choose him because he's easy peasy and he's also got that uh, crowbar. And I mean, he's pretty handy. He's one of the most handy people out there, really. All right, standing on the dock, you probably noticed that there is a gold brick floating around and there happens to be a little grapple hook on it. So pull your favorite grapple hooker out and we'll go ahead and rip that bad boy in. That's right, once you reel it in, go ahead and hop out on that little raft, grab it and add it to your list. All right, so now this next part, uh, we wrap around the corner here and we go to go save the old sick dino. But if I were you, I would turn around and head straight back to where you spawn the old gyrosphere because you actually need one in order to complete the sick dino. So rather than make you watch me get the first two items and then realize that and then have to get it all over again, I just went ahead and edited that out and took us back to the old vehicle spawn pad. Now we're going to roll in, roll in, roll in all the way back. And uh, that's right, we're going to roll right on by the amber brick there on the wall. We're going to take a lowy, and that's right, here we go. We're actually going to head over to this other catapult over by the fence, and it takes us up and knocks us into the old banana tree. So we'll grab that banana, and we'll take it down, and hand it over to the old sick dino. But wait, we actually have to cue the sick dino first. So rather than throw myself into another dilemma and have to start over again, I went ahead and switched to Barry. Here in a second, anyways. And then I switched him to another dino dung diver, which uh, kind of bails me out of the situation. Because once you dive into the dino dung, you uh, kind of analyze what the dino ate, and it actually tells you over, well, right above the dino what he needs. So, all right, we took care of that, and now we're going to go ahead and dive in this other pile just to the left, because guess what? This pile actually gives us the second item we need. So now we've got a banana and a carrot, and we're going to go ahead and feed him both of those right now. Oh, poor little guy. Hopefully he'll feel better in a minute. 
You know what they say, an apple a day keeps the T-Rex away. Well, I, actually, I don't know if I've never really heard that before. I was just trying to take a real life thing and trying to mix it up, you know. Hopefully that applies to this little bugger. All right, here we go. We uh, we did shoot down the target, if you missed that. And uh, we did grab the apple, and we fed it to the buddy. And look at that. He's all up and ready to go. Speaking of ready to go, we also have access to this dino pad now. We're going to go ahead and access it and fire up. That's right, a big old Brachiosaurus. I probably should have grabbed the other one, the other guy that can do the quake, because we actually have a quake moment here. But to help speed things up, thank goodness there is a speed up function in our editor. So we went ahead and sped that up quite a bit. Not too much. No, nothing ridiculous anyways. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make our way. There are three total quake pads you need to do your stomp on. And there is the second out in the middle. And then the first one is just basically making your way all the way towards the back and the beginning where we started. And ready for the final one? Booyaka shaw. That's right. Little rumble in the jungle. Okay, okay. Next, we're going to need to spawn a T-Rex. We actually have a custom dino that could have roared that amber brick away, but we'll go ahead and use the old dino spawn pad this time because not everybody has that custom dino created, at least not yet. You should. You really should have a dino with a T-Rex head custom made so that you could fire it up at any time because there's a couple spots. Hopefully, if you've been following along, you already have it done, but uh, no worries anyways. We go ahead and roar that rock away, and then now we actually have to run all the way over there and build the old build up bricks that are laying around, or I should say bouncing around, eh? And that's right. It builds up into a raptor pounce point, so we're going to have to switch on over to a velociraptor and get our hop on. And then one more time, we're going to have to switch over to... <laughs> Another dino. This is a lot of work. I tell you what, but uh, Dilosaraptor, Dilosaraptor. Hoo hoo! I just created a new dino. Uh, a Dilo, a Dilophosaur. One of these days, I'll get it right. Go ahead and get your hawk to on. Spit it down until that red brick props up, and boo you shout. It's now yours. And uh, all right. So over on the top ledge here, you might have noticed there is also a uh, innocent bystander that goes by the name of. Colin Trevorrow. I should probably go to Google and do some homework and figure out what role he plays in this movie and how he, uh, why he was there. I'm sure he's, I don't know. I don't know who he is. Like I said, I'm going to have to go to Google. I should have done that prior to, but I didn't. But regardless, there's the final screen showing you all the collectibles collected in the area. And that can only mean one thing, that that's going to wrap up LEGO Jurassic World Gyrosphere Valley Free Room. We hope you guys enjoyed this. We are really getting close to the end of this series. We do, uh, well, shh, don't tell anyone. We've actually already completed it. We already got our platinum trophy, and uh, it's good. It's all good. So, hey, if you guys have any questions or comments for us, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below below that's always an option of course too happythumbsgaming.com is the home of our product and gaming reviews as well as our trophy achievement guide so hey go check us out over there you can actually purchase thumbies and booyaka shao stickers there too if you're interested anyhow uh as for me you know what uh that's gonna wrap it up at least for now as always until next time <laughs>